Hey guys, this is Raven with Love for Stamps, and I'm going to do a video showing you how to make a card that I actually, like a fold, that I came across um, by accident. Faith had asked me to make this card, Let's see how it opens, it's awesome, into a video. Thanks Faith. I couldn't find this card anywhere, and so I didn't remember how I did it, I didn't remember the dimensions or where to score it or anything, and so... I was trying to figure it out just by looking at my blog and looking at this card and trying to score lines. And I ended up coming up with a brand new card, um, which kind of looks like this, if you guys can see it. I love it. It's super cute. So I'm going to show you guys how to do this fold. And then in another video, I'll show you how to do this fold. Um, so I will show you that, and the other thing that I wanted to share is that I just found that AL Radio has a Matchbox 20 station. Very exciting stuff, people. Very exciting. Okay, and then I'm also still kind of sick. I'm just getting over it now, so I'm so sorry if there's sniffles in the video. You just gotta look on past those. Um, other than that, I hope everybody's having a great day. Okay, bye. I mean, not bye. Here we go. Okay. Um, so what you're going to need is you're going to need three sheets of 12 by 12 paper. Um, this is what it's going to look like when it's done. But I'm going to do something a little bit different to the other one so that way I can make sure and I follow the Peach King challenge. Um, challenge sketch. Okay, so this was a 12 by 12 sheet of craft paper and I just cut it down to 12 inches this way by um, five and a half this way. Okay. And then what we're going to do is, with the Martha Stewart school board, school board, I don't know that's the way you say it, but I'm using my Jersey accent, y'all know I like that. Okay, so what you're going to do here is you're going to score it at 4 inches, 6 inches, 7 inches, 9 inches, and 10 inches, okay? So I have all my score lines. I don't know if you can even see them. It doesn't really matter, but that those are where you're going to score. And then you're just going to fold in. It's kind of like an accordion, um, like an accordion fold. So let me make sure I have this. Push down. Okay, and then you're going to go down, go up. Sorry, I'm still a little sniffly. Go down, increase these down, and then go up. And go up like that. Okay, and this is what it's going to look like on one side. You can actually go down like that too if you wanted to. It would be like a step. I don't like it. Um, but this is the side that I'm going to actually be using. Okay, and then what you're going to do is from the second. You're going to use this as like your base, the big part. So this is one right here, score two. So you're going to start at this line and then down to three, four, the fourth fold. So from two to four, what you're going to do is you're going to go two inches in and cut it. So I'm going to, I'm going to actually do that on my, um, my board, but it's too big, so I'm not going to show you guys that. Sorry. So all I did is two inches in, I scored it from, um, I mean, I didn't score it, I'm sorry guys, I cut it, and I'm going to move all this beautifulness out of the way, and then with just a craft knife, uh, make sure you're on the right surface, I'm just going to make sure I go all the way to the end, because it wasn't all the way before. Okay. So then you'll see right there, it like opens, it lifts. Um, this part is going to actually pop up, and that part will pop down. So it's going to be... Actually, sorry guys. Go all the way down to the, uh, to the fifth. Maybe I should do that part again. No, no, it's fine. Okay, so then this part is going to go up while this part goes back. So they're going to be doing different things. 
this is going to go back and that's going to go up okay and then you're going to get your base color um, whatever color you want I use black a lot I like black but for this one I decided to use blue um, and this sheet right here is three and three fourths by five and a fourth and that's actually going to go right here as the base okay and then the, the piece that's going to go inside of it is five by three and a half and that'll go right there and then this piece which is four by three will go right here so that I can do like the happy birthday or whatever on this one okay now just going forward in order we'll do this little piece right here for the front is going to be um, two and three fourths by one and three fourths and that's for right here and then the little tiny piece that goes inside of it is two and a half by one and a half okay and that's going to go right there and then right here on this piece you can actually do something on here too but I don't and I'll show you guys why in a second because this folds down like that so I don't do anything there um, but you can you definitely can um, this piece right here is one and three-fourths by three and a fourth and then this that goes over is three by one and a half and I'll make sure and put all the measurements on the video too goes like that okay and then the bottom piece is one and three-fourths by five and a fourth goes like that and then this is five by one and a half and it goes like that okay on the bottom piece and we'll assemble all that together um the other thing that i'm going to do is i'm going to use my classic stamp pad by stampin up and this is brilliant blue and i'm just going to use my sponge i just squeeze my sponge a little bit like that just to give it like a rounded tip can you guys see that see how it like rounds <laughs> yeah no okay and then I just dab it on here and then I'm gonna go around all the edges and ink them and make them this this blue color um, blue is my favorite color but turquoise is actually my favorite color I guess turquoise is a shade of blue huh um, okay so just the whole thing all, all the pieces I'm actually going to ink because I like ink. And this is a good way to use these stamp pads because I don't really use the colors too much. I always use the, the basic one. Okay, so I'm going to go around and do this to all of them. I'm going to ink all of them. And basically, just hold it in your hand kind of flimsily. Don't hold it, you know, too sturdy and just go around real sloppily. I don't, sloppily is not a word, I know that, but um, I don't really mind how it, how it looks. I just like the was aged look I guess okay after I'm done doing all of that and I still have more to go but I'm not gonna do it on the camera um, I want to do the peachy keen challenge the sketch challenge that they have this week and this is perfect for it because there's like uh, three layers and then on the right hand side is a circle I talk with my hands so I don't know if anybody else has something like this this is my cuts that I've cut that I've never used um, because I didn't like them or I just see this one I don't know, my daughter drew a face on it, but I can use a peach keen face on this one too. Um, and this is, like I said, just a bunch of stuff that I've never used because I didn't really like them too much. I already had something that looked like them. That's a peach keen face too. So I'm just going to go through here and pick out something um, for a boy birthday. Let's see. Because I need to use up my stuff. That one's kind of cool. Yeah. This is just a bunch of random stuff, guys. Maybe I'll use this. Here, number one. I think this is cut from uh, Everyday Paper Dolls or something. Yeah, I like that. Okay, and then... I don't know why I cut a bazillion of these phones, but I did. So maybe I'll use one of these phones, too. And I think I cut this from Paisley. Um, let's see... This is, it's double-sided, and I'll just layer it on top of this one, and see if I even like that. I don't know. It looks kind of busy. Maybe that's why I never used it in the first place. A phone. Um, yeah, I don't know if I like that very much, but I'll figure something out. Maybe this, I'll use this little alien. He doesn't match perfectly, but he's cute. Okay, so we'll figure that out. Um, 
and then I will assemble the entire card and show you guys what it looks like all put together. Hey guys, I just want to show you the finished product. Um, it looks awesome. I'm ready. Ready? Ooh. He flies. I just took some um, craft paper and put it, like, glued it on the back of him and glued it on the page so that he flies. And then I also put Happy Birthday in the back here, but I've already put a paper clip on the side to keep it closed. So when it stands, let's see if you guys can see it on my hand. There you go. That's how it's going to look. Right here, the kids and I will just draw, um, or just write Happy Birthday in our names or whatever. Uh, I think that's it. And this little guy's from Playtime. His face is stamped with the Peachy Keen princess faces. And he flies. <laughs>